Hi guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. The Thargoids have finally arrived in full force. I'm out here in the Pleiades sector and if you come out here you will find a whole bunch of new signal sources, many of them containing the, these ancient enemy. Now unfortunately for me, I don't have any combat focused ship out this way so I needed to transfer my ship to one of the local shipyards. As that was going to take a bit of time, I decided to head out in my ASP and see how I'd fare against the Thargoid. First though, I just wanted to encounter one and see what they did. Are they innately hostile or will they generally go about their business if I leave them alone? So head out this way, look for a signal source and these seem to be in abundance. These are none human signal source, threat 5. Whilst unidentified signal sources are RNG based, these ones seem to appear very very quickly and I'd say at least 50% of all signal sources out this way appear to be a non-human. That said, not all signal sources do contain a Thargoid, but this one did have something a little bit interesting, something we haven't seen so far, and that is damaged Imperial ships. So then, as we move further into this video, you're going to encounter things that could be very much considered spoilers. So if you don't want to see any of that, then you may want to stop watching now, and if you do want to find out for yourself, then head out to the Pleiades sector. It seems that more or less any system out this way has a chance of it containing one of these non-human signal sources. Some further searching then led me to another encounter. This one did happen to contain a Thargoid. And you'll notice that it's surrounded by destroyed and attacked ships. Now it's open to debate, perhaps for some people, that the Thargoid here may not have attacked these particular ships. Perhaps it come to investigate, but for me that seems to be a little on the innocent side and uh, these ships are present far too often. So the first thing that happens when you jump into one of these signal sources is that the Thargoid will come over and investigate you, but if you keep your distance and if you leave it alone, they seem to go about their business, at least more often than not. There have been some reports that people seem to have been attacked unprovoked but who knows why that is. Perhaps people are getting a little bit too close, or just maybe people are carrying a cargo that the Thargoids are not too happy with. Either way, it seems very clear that they are searching for something out here. Let them alone, and they will fly from ship to ship, scanning each of them in turn. Ultimately though, once they are done, they will turn and leave the area. And whilst this does give us a great opportunity to observe the Thargoid ship as well as its behaviour, the encounters are just a little bit too short perhaps, unless there are a whole bunch of ships here for them to scan. But that said, it's very easy to go out and find a yet another encounter. So here I am then, just a few minutes later, face to face with another Thargoid. Now again, I decided to observe it for just a moment, trying to get the camera up a little closer to see exactly what was going on, and I did notice something very interesting here. But before we get to that, as with the other encounter, the Thargoid comes straight over and starts to scan me. So this seems to be the way they initiate contact in all cases. They close to less than 500 meters and do this scan and then turn and fly off. So the question really is, what are the Thargoids looking for? And what will they do if they find it? So keeping here, keeping the camera on track, I try to get up as close as possible. Now this beam here seems to be a, not only a scan, but some sort of tractor beam as well. As we get in closer, you can see that in action as the Thargoid pulls in a cargo canister. Now unfortunately I didn't get the opportunity to see what that was, but whatever it was, it was certainly of interest to the alien here. Now what I did decide to do was engage the Thargoid. It's pretty obvious this isn't going to go well. And this is the worst ship I could possibly engage the Thargoid in. But nonetheless, it's all I had to hand. My Vulture is still on the way over here. And I'm not expecting that ship to be much of a match for this either. But it's still a worth a look. And as we get in closer, you can see it deploying his fighters there. A whole multitude of them in fact. And they seem to circle the Thargoid before coming out to not engage with us there. Now if you've been watching any other streams of these battles, you'll notice that people have a varying degrees of success. And by varying degrees of success, I mean some people seem to last a little longer than others. As far as I've seen, no one yet has even damaged a Thargoid, let alone destroyed it. 
So you'll notice when I have the Thargoid selected down there on the left of the HUD, I get absolutely no information about the ship. Nothing on its hull, I can't see anything going on with its shield, just a strange bunch of numbers there, but hopefully someone's going to be able to decode sooner or later. In either event, it seems that the Thargoids are certainly immune to our weapons. It could possibly just be a case that we haven't found the right technique yet, but it seems to me that we're going to have to await for the arrival of the missiles at the end of this week's community goal. And a lovely little flyby there of the little fighters which some people are calling Thargons. So there then are my first few encounters with the Thargoids. I'll be back later with a combat ship and would we'll also be trying out a couple of other things as well. As always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.